14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. All right. All right, come on, Hoyo. Give us something good. Give us something good. All right, beginning now. Hello, traveler. Hey. Welcome to the 4.5 special program. My name is Zach Aguilar. Zach's back. Hell yeah. Traveler. Today I'm hosting with an old friend, right? Meowdy, everyone. My name is Julia Gu. Meowdy. The voice of Kirara. Bro. <laughs> and I'm Brittany Lotta, the voice actor for Chiori. I'm really excited to be in this special Oh my god, Chiori's voice actor time. sounds so different from <laughs> Hi, everyone, actual my her. My name is Valeria Rodriguez, and I'm the voice of Sucrose. Also very excited to be here. Let's, Let's give everyone a chibi applause! Yay! <laughs> But seriously, this is an incredible crew, you guys. Now I'm even more curious. Yeah, I want to know why Sucrus is here. <laughs> why don't we find Did out? Did he just get a VA aboard? Is she and actually going to be involved in this event? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Oh, trailer time. Wow. I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine and Oh, boy. Wait. Two hands. <laughs> oh, wait. It is an alchemy event. <laughs> Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> Not Diona's fucking drunk ethics again. What? I don't want that. I don't want I don't want Pyma getting stronger, thanks. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Please don't do that to yourself. <laughs> Need a bit of letting out around the middle. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. Dude, jeez. <laughs> the big kind of trouble. Oh, wait, this is the Fortress of Mirapeed, right? Oh, yeah, there we go. Chiori. Dude, the fucking dual blades. Ooh, this music, though. Oh, my God. Please be a main DPS. I so want to use her as one. Oh, my God. Is that her burst? Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh, Navia's here too, what the fuck? Okay, so maybe she is a Geo support then. Is Fiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rag are you trying to sell us, huh? Uh. Ugh. You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? I'm guessing that's like Chiori's story quest. Probably, huh? Hey, and there's your first redemption code, folks. <laughs> okay, let me just go ahead and just enter that in here. Hold on, forgot the button on the caps lock. Alright, T D B W uh, T Z or yeah T Z P C T and here. There we go. Alright, there's a redemption code in chat, folks. So be sure you claim it before 12 hours go by, because otherwise they'll expire and you'll never get them ever, ever again. Okay, it seems to be Hmm. There seems to be a lot uh, going on in this trailer, honestly. I mean, there is that potion making like stuff <laughs> that Diona's for some reason getting invested into, and of course, Sucrus is gonna be there when it comes to alchemy. And yeah, I, I think we also get like, yeah, uh, Chiori story quests, but then nothing else really, nothing else really in terms of like permanent content. Yeah, I feel like it's this is just gonna be just limited events and also Chiori story quest mostly. Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. <laughs> Let's get on with it then. Unsurprisingly, our first bit of information relates to our newest character, Chiori. Woo! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric. Uh, oh, why was it in the box? Whoa, it's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. She oh, is that Inazuma materials? Pretty frequently. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I thought that Chiori left a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah, definitely. You could get a really good read on her based on how she dresses and the way that she talks. Ooh, I agree. She seemed firm and decisive. Oh, like, come on. Uh, <laughs> not the cat puns again. Exactly mm -hmm. I also get the impression that she's not afraid of going after what she wants. <laughs> yeah. It must have taken a lot of effort. For I mean, considering the fact that she wields do so katanas, I want to fuck with her. <laughs> I would not. Her success was based on a lot of skill and talent. Mm -hmm. I'm know, kind of hoping she's a main DPS, honestly, because those animations look clean. Right, but you might not be aware about her combat abilities, so let's take a moment to appreciate her fighting style. Let's fighting. Let's <laughs> show me. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. Oh my god, is that her idol? <laughs> she has a mini doll of herself, really? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, they're not so much dual swords, are they're like kind of like dual daggers, or just very very <laughs> long daggers. Oh my god! Okay, that that looks cool. Yeah, I feel like she's definitely gonna be main DPS. Oh, that yeah, that burst animation actually looks pretty beautiful. Oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> like, have you seen her doll? It's so cute. Say that she's a cut above the rest, ah. if you will. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, How many puns? So Can we have a pun counter on screen of like how many puns are going to be in this stream? I think we had like three so far. I love her swords. They're super, super cool. I want to add them to my own collection. Did you see that during her burst, she actually crosses them over to look like scissors? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't. All right, Cassie. Of course, she uses yeah. scissors. Observers often consider Giori to be in. Yeah, look at this attack animation. So. Designer. She has a unique way of designing her clothes. Aside oh from yeah, I fucking those attack animation like jokes fabric, clean as hell. She also uses an automaton named Tamoto. Yeah, for the her longest time I thought Shiori was gonna be a a four star, because that's the kind of the vibe she gave Tomoto off. But <laughs> nah, these are like five star animations, bro. Like what the hell? Unique creative vision to the world. It's like she has an aura that proclaims to everyone. This is fashion. <laughs> Deal damage to, to opponents yeah, based on the totally. attack and defense. Jerry's Hold skill to okay. To oh, it's like a like a dash ability. Into combat. I guess kind of like a Ching's E. Elemental skill. Chiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. She also performs an upward strike and deals damage to her enemies based on her attack and defense stats. Okay, wait, so wait, wait. <laughs> I haven't been farming costs for nothing then. So intricate. Maybe she could expand into a new industry if she wanted. <laughs> For sure. When her elemental skill is held, Chiori can adjust. Okay, the so it's someone, yes, yeah, so very much like a Jing. Angles. And as an experienced businesswoman, she oh, she can summon multiple of them. Okay. Conditions. Chiori will summon an additional automaton when Tomoto is active, and there are other geo constructs on the field. Huh. Okay. But oh, so they count as geo constructs. Okay. Specific talents. Chiori can trigger special effects when using her skill, or normal. Tapping normal attack will cause Chiori to gain geo infusion. Okay. Interesting. So it seems like you can even switch your active character by using her skill. Wait, what? Uh huh. Her little. You can switch your active character mid air. Oh, absolutely. While using her skill. She doesn't like to waste her time. Okay. On... That could be actually pretty good if, if I wanted to use her as like <laughs> CNN and plunge DPS. As sharp and fierce as her personality. Ooh, she already may be a professional designer, but she's also that's really cool actually. In combat for sure. Because you, you can you usually can never switch characters midair. Needs to serve a functional purpose. When Chiori is in your active party and any of your characters are wearing a unique outfit or a non-default wing glider, what? The whole team will have their movement speed increased. What? That's what makes her a true designer. Our travels will <laughs> so, be smoother when she's in the party. So and more fashionable. Huh? Uh, well. So you have a, if you have a skin on, oh, or tends to run into a lot of trouble. Or it not the default wind glider, you get a speed boost. Okay. Expected problems often arise, no matter how much she tries to avoid them. Mm. I'm sure that a straightforward person like Chiori has her own methods of getting herself. I was gonna say pay to win, quickly. but technically you can get the <laughs> wind gliders for free. Chiori is an unconventional designer with a clear vision. She isn't afraid to go after what she wants, and that approach has made her very successful. Chiori will do anything to make sure the Chioria brand becomes renowned throughout all of Tibet. Oh so boy, one heck of an admission. ...ways to increase its exposure, such as participating in Fontaine Fashion Week. Hmm. Ooh, I bet she probably has to go all out on Fashion Week. Chiori's story quest, the Sisori yep. chapter, will become available <clears throat> in... Oh, excuse me, five. my throat got Chiori clogged for a second there, what the hell? ...company Chiori as she confronts unexpected challenges during Fontaine Fashion Week. How curious. What kind of challenges are they? Shh, we'll have to wait and see. See, <laughs> no but spoiling. I'm sure that Kirara will be there to help Chiori, being her good friend and all. Oh, I can't wait to see. Oh, what this doesn't mean Kirara will be in the, the story quest. Probably I so, eh? Mention that Chiori also designed Kirara's outfit. Oh, so Kirara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. If yeah. you want to learn more about Chiori, then be sure to check out her story quest when it becomes available. Actually, travelers. Oh shit! We're getting hangout events too. All right. Hangout event will also be available. Finally, a Lynette hangout event. After travelers complete her quest. Is it just her or is it? The fatometer. Awesome. 
Oh, okay, it seems to be just Lynette's. Okay, that's a bit disappointing, though. I, I kind of wish we had one for, like, Fremenet or something. And also, where's the Sucrose Hangout event? And our official one. We still don't have those. Damn. You might run into a situation where multiple people want to use the same character. Mm. But you can decide a winner by drawing a random number with the fatometer. It seems pretty convenient, right? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially if you're as easily overwhelmed and indecisive as I am. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a lot of content to explore, then you can even use the fatometer to decide where you should start. It could save you from going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. How about we try the fatometer and see which number it gives us? Oh, me first. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Uh? Have we decided what the numbers mean? Oh, uh, how about this then? Whoever draws the largest number gets to introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be. Let's talk about this fatometer out. thing a lot. I'm assuming it's gonna be a gadget in game. All right, I'll go. Oh. <gasps> Oh, damn. <laughs> Fucking one. <laughs> oh, my turn. Oh. You were so close. <laughs> okay, what's the bet well, that Zack's gonna win this? Zack is the winner. Take it away, big man. Let's go. Uh, okay, never mind. Zack, Zack won by default. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Ito. Okay. Ito in the first half huh. Version 4.5. A new five star sword. Oh, yeah, her sword as well. I, I, okay, I was expecting Albedo, honestly, not Ito, but. Hey, I'll take it. Man, that's like two Geo DPSs on the banner, right? Because I'm assuming Geo. Uh, Chiyo is going to be a Geo DPS. Albedo. That's something that travelers will have to try out for themselves. Nervalette and Kazwa will also oh. be in the second half of Wait, we're getting a Nervalette rerun before we get a Lenny rerun? Huh, okay. Oh, and that's not all. Interesting. Like we also have two of the best characters the right there, folks. You better pull on that rerun if you don't have them. Wait, what? What's that? Wait. Yeah. Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available starting from version 4.5. Wait, this is big, actually. Chronicled Wish. The Chronicled Wish banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Eula and Albedo, too? Weapons such as Hunter's Path. And Wolf's grave oh yeah, Hunter's Path. That, that, yeah, that's Tainari's bow that hasn't been rerun in fucking ever. Wait, if so many characters and weapons are going to be on the same banner, won't it be kind of hard to pull for exactly who you want? Or yeah, what is this new banner? Nope. How's it different from it's the standard banner? Specific course for the character or weapon that you want. Oh. It takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. You're also guaranteed okay. an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character, whatever you end up pulling is guaranteed to be what? a character. Oh, huh. The same is true huh. for weapon pulls. That's okay. neat. Seems like a great opportunity for travelers to make So, yeah, it's, it's a pinmice path but for the standard banner. <laughs> but they're going to put Albedo and Yula on it, apparently, to too. Clarify. These new banners will only feature five-star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Mm. Oh, More so... details about the chronicled wish banners will be revealed in an official... Huh, so characters have at least three reruns. And that also includes limited characters. That's that's huge, actually. To make it easier for new travelers to explore to that. We'll provide more details later Oh, on yeah, also, Deus okay. and... I just noticed Deus and Eula's claymores are there, too. Program. Let's take a short break while we display the second redemption code. Awesome. That's big, actually. Wait, hold up. If this is as good as I think it is going to be. Also, hey, G Jean Lisa, Jean, my beloved, is right there on the on the art right there. But if I think that's what I think it is, that's huge, actually. So if you just pull on the banner, the this new banner enough times, you guarantee whatever five star you choose. That's huge, actually. So let's say I want like Albedo uh, like on my because I need him for like my Ito team. I can just pull on that banner enough times and get him. Also, although I do want to know, um, does this banner is this banner going to use Acquaint Fates or Intertwined Fates? Because in my mind, I thought it was going to be using Acquaint Fates, but hmm. Yeah, they they could be used on uh, aren't intertwined face for all for, for for all we know. Also, yeah, there's your second redemption code, everybody. Be sure to claim it, otherwise it will expire in twelve hours. 
Yeah, I want more details on that Welcome new banner. Because I was not expecting that. Program. Let's move on to the next bit of content. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Hmm. A bottle? Huh. Hmm. Mm. Judging from the shape of the glass and the color of the liquid, I'm guessing that the bottle has something to do with alchemy. Oh. And judging from our surroundings... <laughs> who who would have thunk that, that, that it would have something to do with yeah. alchemy? Next, we're introducing an event that takes place in Mondstadt. It's an alchemy event. Oh, and you get a free poll on weapon. Mondstadt continues to develop, its leaders are busy with planning... Do I look at the Desert Sages? The That's actually a cool-looking poll arm. Alchemy research, ...and they've been looking for a way to showcase their results. Lisa came up with the idea to open a potion shop. The people of Mondstadt can learn more about okay. alchemy. Okay, I'm guessing this is the main event, maybe. Needs. Everybody wins. Hey, that's and exciting. we get to see Lisa again. <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah. Especially since travelers will get to run the potion shop during this event. Oh? And what'll that look like? In the Alchemical Ascension event, travelers will need to cultivate herbs, brew potions, and sell their products to increase the shop's revenue and expand their business. So it's a mess. <laughs> it's like the museum oh, events all over again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Travelers who build up the revenue and run the shop smoothly will be able to earn various rewards. Nice. These include Primo gems and a four star polearm. Dialogues of Desert Sages. I want to know how good that polearm is. Travelers can also look what? forward to meeting familiar companions at the what? shop. What? Yulun Travelers Beto meeting? What the fuck? If they fulfill these special customers' requirements. My two queens meeting each other for the first time? I'm hyped. Yeah, me too. That's all I what in the shit? Okay. I always love these cross region events, so yeah, hell yeah. Okay, I'm kind of excited for this update now, actually. I feel like we don't even need to introduce this one. Yep, TCG changes. That our upcoming content is about cats. Uh, it's like I've returned home. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's already gotten in the character. Hey, wait, wait a second. Sucrose also has animal ears, right? You bet, yeah, we never confirm what animals those are. Oh, so Sucrose isn't part cat? No comment. Wait, really? She's not? Ahem. <laughs> I thought she was like part dog, like this whole time. Let's get back to introducing the most Aww. important event. <laughs> We're having a kitty event? Fortress Thirdesy. The Traveler and Paimon have encountered all sorts of strange creatures during their journey through Tavad. But this time, please, please let this be the update where we actually get the pet the freaking animals. Cat's tail. Ah, that makes sense. Since they've been on the road for so long, there's no better way to relieve your fatigue than spending time with some cuddly cats. Mm -hmm. Cat lovers of Tevat, unite! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> to so be true. precise, this event doesn't actually take place at the Cat's Tail. Oh. A kind-hearted person recently prepared a oh. space for the cats to play to their heart's content. <laughs> and you get to set up the furniture for, for the cats. Homes for the cats satisfy specific target requirements and wait the, the, the freaking like values will travelers be able oh my god this is really <laughs> i feel like the, yeah this patch has like taken a lot of inspiration from the museum event in star rail oh my god you can actually pet them fuck yeah just do your best once travelers have become good friends with all of the cats they'll be oh my god that's so adorable actually yep and it seems like you're already a very good friend to the cats. I will hey, be there day one for that event. Also, you know, fuck these ads. <laughs> Into that, they're pretty closely associated, right? Oh, hey, we're getting a Nublet, Charlotte, and a Kirara card. Travelers returning to the cat's tail to play some genius invocation TCG after playing with all those cats. I've been playing a lot of TCG lately, but hmm. play some cards. Play with. Yeah, it's just something I do in my own time, honestly. Cards. Suddenly, I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> you might be in trouble then. Version 4.5 is adding even more new cards, events, and challenges to Genius Invocation TCG for all travelers. Aside from playing with cats and... Uh, and of course, I got the filler events. The developers also prepared some challenges. <laughs> Massacre, the Massacre the slimes again. In version 4.5, travelers will meet two guard members in Fontaine. One of them is a genius inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. Oh, uh, I don't blame them. Sure seems like there are a lot of <laughs> I don't blame them. The FRI just seems absolutely <laughs> crashed genius right now. Well, then the traveler a remote cannon that he invented to take down a fearsome hilly churl rogue. Uh, I meant that the cannon will be used to take down- Oh slides. shit, <laughs> we're not fighting, we're fucking just <laughs> shooting people, alright. It kind of reminds me of the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. 
So, in this event, travelers will remove. In this event, travelers will get to massacre the fuck out of slimes again. Endless horde of slimes! <laughs> Try to defeat as many slimes as you can by triggering elemental reactions. The more points <coughs> you earn, the more rewards that you can obtain. Ooh. Yes, rewards. Give me. Delicious. Special equipment will also appear on the field. Using them will net you even more points. Sweet. I always okay. wanted to massacre slimes. <laughs> Just eradicate the whole species, but don't I? Oh, that's something that Jami developed, right? I, 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 I guess we're going back to Samara for this one. Didn't the traveler participate in a bunch of experiments to help him with his thesis? Yep. Oh, he's made some improvements since then, and he's. I'm guessing this is another combat event. Oh yeah. <laughs> in previous challenges. Whoa! Wait, what? The potion to take effect. This time. Oh, you, you can actually just freeze the characters in the air just like that. Mode when you enter the challenge arena. Oh. You can even take pictures when this mode is active. Huh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. Resume, Freeze frame. <laughs> use any type of skill. You'll enter time dilation mode again once you stop moving or using your skills. Mm-hmm. Yep. Time will stop as long as you don't move after unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be able to take tons of cool pictures of their characters. <laughs> uh, for one, yeah, we'll be using that. Travelers will also need to focus on accumulating... Actually, I want to, like, take a picture of, like, Kaching's... Like, using Kaching's burst mid-burst. Awesome. Ooh, that's yeah. Also, no, I'm definitely gonna be making use of that to like take photos and whatnot. 4.5, so nice. don't miss out, you guys. Yeah. Well, we finished introducing all the events in version 4.5. Uh, next up, we have. Uh, well, wait a second. We've oh. just announced a lot of information, don't you think? That's true. Let's take a short. Yeah, break it seems like we were done with like pretty much everything. We continue. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we'll see everyone on the flip side. See ya. Yeah. Bye bye. Up oh, and I'm guessing, yep, that's a third redemption code. All right, let me just go ahead and key that in. <laughs> and then they reviewed the slimes for once people who lost their physical body. <laughs> could, could you imagine if Genshin like did a dark thing like that? It's just like, oh, all those slimes you fucking shot were killed, but were once people, and we punished them by turning them into slimes. <laughs> I would actually laugh my ass off if they actually did something like that. Okay, but honestly, not a bad event. Not not bad event so far. Honestly, I'm actually kind of, yeah, kind of hyped for the potion event now. Well, not at least uh, it's going to be part of it. And Beto and Eula are going to meet and all. I'm kind of excited for that, actually. And also the, uh, of course, the cat petting event. I'm also really excited for because, you know, you get to finally pet the freaking cats and animals. But hell yeah. And of course, yeah, <laughs> cannot wait for Chiori herself because she seems honestly very, very much fun to play. I can't, yeah, I can't actually wait for her. In addition to the new All right, what else you got for us? 4.5. Also planned a few system optimizations. Let's take a look. Yeah. After version 4.5, try oh, this is quality life stuff, right? Characters talent upgrade materials on the character talent interface menu. Hopefully, this helps. Yeah, I think I've seen this like on Hoyo Lab. In order to improve a character's skills. Remember the new training guide that we mentioned earlier? Yeah, this is pretty much gonna be like one for every character now, right? Version 4.5. Travelers who are adventure rank 12 or higher and have completed the quest, Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild, will be able to refer to this guide by accessing the Paimon menu, or pause menu. This guide will provide enhancement goals and suggestions based on the levels, weapons, artifacts, and talents of Yeah, I think this is just... It, also it doesn't... It's not going to really affect veteran games. players, Hopefully but it's going to be a really be huge help to newbies. Just started their journey into that. Yep, this guide was designed as a helpful resource for travelers who are relatively new to Tavat. There's so much to discover in Genshin Impact. I'm sure that travelers will eventually figure out the best system for them. <laughs> for sure. Explore yeah, it's pretty much an, a, like a newbie helper. Totally. Mm -hmm. Like if you need help so building your characters and whatnot. The what the cave? But we also have hey, yo, my man's ripped out. During version 4.5, Genshin Impact will be teaming up with the Discovery Channel to launch the Discovery Channel. The fuck? About environmental conservation. Genshin characters will serve what? As that is a collab I never saw coming. <laughs> what the shit? Out there. Genshin oh, X Discovery Channel. A cool collaboration. I love it. <laughs> During version 4.5, travelers can also. Oh hell yeah! We also got the uh, Chen Yuvel OST as well. OST nice. Album, Jadeite Redolence. The album will be comprised of two discs, <laughs> which feature over 50 tracks by the Hoyo Mix team. It will contain music from version 4.4. .4. Mm -hmm. 
It even includes the music featured in the Lantern Rite Festival and Shen Yun's Story Quest. Ooh, nice. Yes, so cool. Ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> all right. Seems like we've delivered all the- And that's the end. <laughs> wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the- I just realized that Jean and Lisa fans are going to go absolutely crazy on Twitter because I know they're <laughs> they're heavily shipped there. Super excited for the cat cafe. I, for one, am happy we're going to see Jean and Lisa again. Immediately, 100%. 110%. It's been way too long since we've last seen Mondstadt. I mean, like, they met her. Chiori, too, yeah. Can't wait for her also. She seems super, super fun to play. Yeah. See her cool her also yeah that banner thing that like so epitomized cool. banner whatever it, it was called I mean, like we biased, yeah we need more details on that i will probably so they said the like the characters have their banners uh, rerun three yes. times I and their really banners have not showed up recently it, we'll talk about it afterwards the stream time. actually i will just roll with it then huh i had to i had to <laughs> That's so good. Bye, everyone. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, and guys. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> see you Bye. later. See you in game. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it was nice to have Zach back, honestly. He hasn't been here in a while. Okay, but that wraps it up for the 4.5 special program, everybody. Okay, so, yeah, let's do a quick recap of what we learned so far, like, throughout the whole stream. So, one, um, Chiori is coming in the first phase of... Uh, a 4.5. We're also going to be uh, we're also going to be getting an Arataki Ito rerun uh, alongside Chiori, and in phase two we're going to get Kazuha Nuvelet's uh, rerun in phase two of a uh, 4.5, which is insane, honestly. That <laughs> Nuvelet got a rerun before Linny did. Uh, we also are going to get Chiori story quests, that potion events, uh, which it seems to be like yeah the main event of uh, of this update, as well as the um. Uh, yeah, that slime event and also that combat event uh, that, that I was shown earlier. I think there's another event too that I'm somewhat forgetting. Um, oh wait, no, no, I think right. Yeah, the, wait, or never mind. Is, is the Diona event and the Jean and Lisa event like one and the same? I, I think they are. So yeah, I think I'm, I must be forgetting one of the events that was shown. But yeah, we're also getting a brand new like banner, it seems, where it's like you can choose, it's like an, epit an epitomized path, but for like standard banner characters, but also some other characters too. It seemingly, yeah, I should have taken a screenshot earlier, but it seems like you could have chosen like Albedo and Eula and gotten them from that banner if you wish on it enough times. And it seems to have like epitomized path as well, so... Yeah, you could you could have just you can just straight up get the five star you want without needing to lose 50-50. Actually, maybe you lose 50-50 once, and then your penmise path will give you the five star you want. Maybe maybe that's how it works. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, other than that, we also have like yeah, those quality of life changes and also to Genshin X uh, the Discovery Channel for some reason. And uh, other than that, I think um that's everything for Genshin 4.5. Honestly, the the thing I'm most excited for is that new banner. I want to know more details about that because, yeah, if if it it is what I think it is, that's gonna be huge for Genshin going forward. It, it's gonna make it like so much easier to get like characters without like waiting for the reruns and whatnot. Because yeah, it it like had like Albedo on it and it had Eula on it. It had um Dia's weapon and also Tainari's weapon that was initially run alongside their initial banners but they were never seen again because you know Tainari and they are not getting are not going to get a rerun because they're standard banner characters so yeah it's a good way for those weapons to come back and you know give us a chance to pull for them and all but yeah what do you guys think about 4.5 leave your thoughts in the comments down below or in the chat as well because honestly yeah, this event looks interesting, to be honest. It's probably not, like, the most hype update of all times. I feel like, yeah, this update's gonna be pretty chill in terms of, uh... <laughs> in terms of updates. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be, like, somewhat of a filler patch, maybe, because, um... Yeah, nothing really major is happening in this, um... In this update. Oh, yeah, right. Alongside uh, Chiori's uh, story quest, we're also getting uh, Lynette's hangout event. Uh, for some reason, we're not getting any other hangout events, just Lynette's. I was kind of hoping for, like, a frame day hangout event, but oh, well. I guess one hangout event is better than none, right? But, yeah, very, very much curious about that, like, new banner thing, honestly. Actually, can we look it up? Um, Genshin 4.5 new banner system. There's probably going to be leaks about it already, so I might as well... 
up. Oh. <laughs> okay, some some people predicted what the banners would be like. Albedo did not show up, unfortunately. But yeah, I want to know more about that like new banner system. Like, what was that all about? Because yeah, it, it it allowed you to get Eula or or Albedo just from wishing on it, and it's like it seems to be like a permanent kind of wish banner. Yeah, if one of you knows more about it, please link it to me in like my Discord uh, channel. Uh, link in the description if you want to go ahead and join it. But yeah, there seems to be like a brand new limit, like yeah, banner system in four point five, and I do want to know more details about it. Yeah, maybe maybe I have to do like my own research on it. Like, uh, and yeah, okay, they they said like what um characters who have had their like um banners who had like three reruns and their banners are not recent will be on the banner so that means it's not just limited to five stars we saw it's going to be limited to characters who have um who had three reruns in the past and had not had a recent rerun so that includes like what child zhongli venti ran shogun i believe is uh, one of them Actually, how many characters have already had like three reruns? Yoimiya is definitely one of them. So maybe Yoimiya will, will be on the banner too. And also, um, yeah, probably some, some of the 1.0 characters. Like, yeah, Yula's gonna be on it. Child is definitely gonna be on it. Um, Zhongli is definitely gonna be on it. Um, Ganyu probably will be on it, maybe. Actually, I don't know how many reruns Ganyu had us, actually. Cleave will probably be on it. Yeah, I'll, I think, yeah. I think that's what they said. I may have to go back to the live stream just to clarify, but I believe that is what they said. That characters who had three or more reruns will be featured on the new banner system. At, at least, I, I hope I heard that right. That banner guy is just like, Eula, who's Eula? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> they did not want to rerun Albedo, so they just shoved him into like this new banner system, bro. <laughs> imagine, imagine that was the case. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think about uh, four point five? Yeah, the special program and all. I think this this update is gonna be actually pretty good. Actually, probably not the most hype update of all times, because you know <laughs> uh, the Fontaine arc is, is over. But I still think it's gonna be like an enjoyable update nonetheless. But yeah, guys, I think that is where I'm gonna wrap things up for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks to everybody who came out today to join in on the watch party. Uh, leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts on uh, 4.5. And subscribe today if you want to see some more videos or streams from me. I probably will be streaming 4.5 like after... Like around like the 19th of March. Because from now until uh, then I, I'm occupied with um, school and exams and whatnot. So I won't be able to stream until then. But once I am back from uh, exams, I should be able to stream as per usual. So yeah. Cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for 4.5 to come out. And yeah, cannot wait to test out Chiori and also play the new events and, ever and everything. But yeah, well, that said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thanks to all of you who came out today to, to join on the watch party. Uh, yeah, and uh, I guess with all that said, I'll be taking off now, guys. Yeah. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys again uh, when I start streaming again, like probably like late late march or something but yeah this will be it for me thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you guys again next time okay yeah if, the, if that new banner system is what i think it is yeah it's gonna be huge it's gonna be huge if it's if it's exactly what i think it is but yeah uh that'll be all for me guys Alrighty, take care have a good night and see ya Bye-bye.